retired Raiders linebacker, here to give my take on the Devontae Adams saga, which is proving to be interesting on a lot of levels from a player's perspective. There's a lot of strategy going on here from both sides, right? This is a business. So start with the press conference. First thing that kind of jumped out at me, like everybody else, AP says, Devontae's a Raider. You know, he's still a Raider. He's always been a Raider. He's rehabbing from his hamstring injury, and as soon as he's healthy, we'll play him. I think we can kind of all see through that one that Antonio Pierce is essentially trying to make him seem more valuable to the Raiders, that they still want him. He's highly desirable to up his trade value so they can get more in you know compensation for him leaving in the trade. Um, but the thing that really stood out to me a whole lot more was when he said, yeah, Devontae is rehabbing here with the Raiders. <clears throat> the reason for that how do I say this? The reason for that is that you got this big money, you're a big star player. Most of those guys have a team of people of their own network that they are rehabbing with, that uh, they'll fly to in the off, you know, not even the off season, the off days um, to get, there's some wizards out there, okay? And, and they can do a whole lot more than ice and stem and contrast of warm and cold and do a little bit of soft tissue work. We're talking I was 10 plus years ago now when I played, and I wouldn't report injuries to the Raiders. I would hide them, try not to gimp and, and not report them so that I wouldn't have to come into treatment the next day on our off day after the game so that I could fly to Utah or fly to Arizona or different places to get specialty therapies that I knew would have a higher success rate and you know, we're getting more done. And back then, you know, there was muscle activation techniques which wasn't like crazy, crazy out there cutting edge, but there was active muscle integration techniques, which is kind of similar, turning muscles back on to support joints that are banged up. Um, you know, you had people sleeping in hyperbarics, that, that's all old stuff, but you had, you know, prolozone injections I was getting, uh, stem cells, PRP, I could go on, and that was 10 years ago. I can only imagine the stuff they have now and the experts out there now and the way the internet has passed all that along I don't believe that the hamstring injury is that serious if he's just rehabbing with the Raiders. Now, Devontae has a lot of money. You know, maybe he's flying people in and he's doing that after going to, you know, rehab with the Raiders. I'm just saying that that flagged me as, you know, most people were kind of already reading into the hamstring injury as a hamstring injury, which is I'm not going to play for the Raiders, I'll, but if I was on the Ravens next week, I'd be playing, or the Jets or the Saints next week, I'd be playing. And I'm starting to lean that way as well. Now, the other piece to this that's really interesting is that Devontae's uh, wish list looks wildly different than it did, you know, a week ago. After week five, Robert Sala is fired. You know, so the Jets, it's rare that you fire a, a coach midseason. And it's even more rare. I don't know of any teams that have done that and have gone on to do really well or win a Super Bowl. So... It's not looking like they'll be a contender. We're still early enough in the season. It's hard to say. Things can turn. But that's that's a big shot to the mentality of the team, the psyche. And just, you know, you got to reintegrate and reorientate to the new stuff in front of you. Um, you know, and, and Rodgers didn't look awesome in that game. And, you know, also Rodgers is, he, he almost wasn't going to come back for this season. So who's to say that, you know, Devontae goes, that's a one-year play essentially for, for Devontae, you know, and, and, He's also a ticking time bomb on his body. You know, I, I hate to say that, but what is he, 31 or so? And, you know, playing a receiver, it's you're not, you only got so many years. And so the Jets don't look awesome for him. The Saints, you know, Derek just went down with an oblique. It's looking like he's going to have several weeks off. You know, and that was the main pull probably and allure for him to go to the Saints. That's not looking so cool. And it doesn't, rumors are having it that the Ravens are not interested. But the other people on the list could be the Steelers or the Bills. If I were him, I wouldn't want to go to the Steelers because the quarterback situation, and it just doesn't seem solid enough. It doesn't seem like it's going to be consistent enough or certain that Fields is the guy or that they're not going to put Russell in at some point. And are they going to pull it off and, and, and win the way they need to? The Bills of all those are is hands down looking like the best right now. I mean, if things change next week the way they did last week, then I, I mean, who knows? But... Josh Allen is their quarterback for many years to come. If you wanted to go to a place this year and have that be a stable place for the rest of his career, 
hard to bet on anybody else but that, uh, the Bills from that list. Considering all of that, is that causing Devontae to think twice about leaving? Maybe. Maybe he's using this week that he's out and certainly not going to get traded this week, very unlikely, because he's not going to be active anyways, to scout AOC, Aiden O'Connell. Maybe he's, he's scouting him to see, do we have a dramatic improvement in our offense just by putting Aiden in there? And if so, maybe, maybe I have that much more substance to stick around. You know, because maybe, maybe there's a dramatic improvement like when Andy Dalton went in over, over Bryce. On that note, just of the quarterbacks, Minshew versus AOC, First off, you have to understand, anytime a quarterback has to go and learn a new system, it's really tough. So both those guys were in the same spot there. They brought in Getze, they gotta learn that whole thing. Everything, uh, bringing in quarterbacks to play in a certain system, everything is theoretical until it isn't. And what I mean by that is they could say, oh, Minshew, you know, we're gonna pick him up. He, I think he would fit into this offensive system well because of X, Y, and Z. You don't actually know if he'd fit in better because everything lines up on paper the way you think it would until both guys get actual, you know, real game time exposure in that offense and get some time under it as well. It's a hard thing to adjust to. Um, so we'll see, you know, maybe on paper, AOC doesn't stack up as well in our offense. And people thought, well, Gardner can at least run around and he's not getting awesome protection in there, but you throw Aiden in there and maybe he, he does awesome. You just don't know how a quarterback is going to settle into a specific system and why it suits their abilities until they're in there. And um, so I'm excited to see Aiden. I wish him nothing but the best, man. I, I hope it gives us a little bit of a surge and um, gives us some momentum. So maybe all those things considered will cause Devontae to want to stick around. And I know that AP has said, you know, he's in good spirits and we've talked and we had good conversations and this, that, and the other. Um, but at the end of the day, this is a business, right? And he says those things, Devante says things in interviews that have turned out not to be super true, right? Like the last time we went through this, you know, AP says about their relationship, well, you can ask him about it. Devante on the Kay Adams show, you know, says that they hadn't talked when apparently they had. So this is a business. And that's got to be pretty awkward with all those things going on and AP liking the tweet of maybe Adams played his last game and then Adams requesting a trade. How much can those bygones be bygones? One, because that's going to be awkward to come back and play for the Raiders and that's always lingering in the air. But at the same time, players that are superstars get a lot of bygones. And I know we're a better team with 17 on the field than any team is. Raider Nation, fingers crossed. What do you think? You think Adams is sticking around? Hit me in the comments below.